Every damn day, the same thing. Just me in the tube with different color clothes. Maybe it's comforting. Maybe it's a comfort thing. Maybe I need schedule or maybe, maybe it's just comforting to be inside a big, warm, cavernous, claustrophobic injector filling my body with <laughs> All sorts of. Well, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna stop that. There's me in this series. That's actually me in there, not just some throwaway waifu. I've got to be extra mindful about the awful things I say here in Real World Catharsis, where yesterday Catharsis was very much exactly what happened. After days and days of struggle and torment, void monsters ripping off my head and getting absolutely nothing good from the superpower machine, finally there was a breakthrough. And that breakthrough was a power that was cancelled out by one of the negatives. But very soon, hopefully, immediately, we're going to solve that problem. I, me personally, uh, I'm currently undergoing an operation to try and remove one of the weaknesses that came with the superpower. I think it was something like a 71% chance of failure, which is pretty much on brand for this channel. And probably worth mentioning, it removes the weaknesses sequentially, as far as I recall. So it'll remove the, uh, the, the, vi the, the vanilla psychopath. That was what it called me. It'll remove that weakness first. Then it will remove the aiming time weakness and then whatever the last one was. Obviously, it wasn't super relevant, seeing as I don't even remember it. No, that was a good one. We don't want to remove that one. Let's not forget, yesterday, 78 became immortal. And are you talking? Since when are you able to talk? 78 became immortal and very very, very hungry. And then, of course, we had the Man in Black event, or in this case, the Grigna in Hat event, where Grigna, having seen that we were under attack from Mechanoids, turned up to help. The problem is we haven't got any alcohol, and the poor guy's gonna die soon. I got any money left, because my entire plan today hinged on that. We've got 3,000 silver. Here's the plan, then. I pop out of the pod better and stronger than ever without brain damage, preferably. And now that I've got 17 crafting, thanks to some very unethical and questionable genetic experimentation yesterday, I can craft a bunch of nuclear fuel rods. With that, we turn on the reactor. The reactor turns on the turbine. Then we take all of that energy in our power grid and we turn it into energy weapons. I don't know if these are going to work on Void. I don't even know if they'll put a scratch in Void. It's that or we sit here and research everything until eventually we get gun turrets. Though... I remember the Mechanite Forge being pretty powerful. Now, Grigna turned up with a bottle of alcohol yesterday, so he last ingested it 1.6 days ago. After five days, he'll suffer from a deficiency. After 30 days, he falls to a coma. After 60 days, he will die. So we've effectively got a whole Rimworld year to try and, I don't know, grow hops? Build fermenting barrels? And now the quarry, look, it's, it's an enormous waste of time because I set the failure rate to something like 90% because... Well, I mean, she's clearly very overpowered. Simultaneously, without that and without the plasteel it's given us, we can't build the turrets. I do think it's more useful for the time being, though, to be doing a bit more research. Okay, you know what? Let's just let you have it. Just just go for it. In fact, you know what? Let's lock the door. Otherwise, she runs off, she starts a job in the quarry, and then she doesn't come back and do any more research. Um, hot tubs. Ooh. Again, this is all for Operation Flex on Void. Firstly, we have to be able to beat Void before we can, before we can really flex on Void. Advanced batteries probably wouldn't hurt, given the whole nuclear power that we've got coming up. Combat drones, torch methods, deep drilling. Leads to something called improved automatic quarries. Well, that ties in pretty much perfectly to what I was just talking about. Or we go back to my idea yesterday of Mecha Bussy. But in the, uh, in the interim, we need, well, we need materials to build that Mecha Bussy out of. So I'm going to say deep drilling. If we can find a way to automate resource generation and then have 78 just do research over and over and over. Did I say research or resource? I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, the reroll was bad. I had to go for pottery. Work tire, chem fuel refining... Farming techniques, lots of old medicine. Oh, come on. Ah, fine. Scientist cabinet. Research even faster. Not that I think we really need it. Now, as a reminder, of course, Void are hostile to us at this point. They are permanently hostile. We cannot get on our knees and beg anymore. We can't send them gifts. That's it. It's over. I don't think we're technologically advanced enough yet that Void would give a shit. But it's probably worth being on guard because we've, 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 I've specifically gone for the higher tier research, right? Nuclear reactors, advanced fabrication, etc., etc. A lot of the early game research I just haven't touched for fairly obvious reasons. What the hell am I going to do with Connie bees? I, I worry we're basically inflating our tech level without really much to show for it right now. Riding gear. You can ride Joris into battle. I think you can do that anyway, actually. Um, industrial weaponry, I presume that leads to something more advanced. Oh, God, reroll. Animal clothing. Unlocking the subconscious. Yes. <laughs> Maybe just for the meme, we prioritize any research that lets me stuff the gaping hole in my body with more powers. Mechanoids, dryads, psi powers. It, it's a little lackluster. Oh, and of course, superpowers too. How could I forget about that? Unlocking the subconscious. Thank you. I appreciate that one a lot. You know what I'd appreciate more? Automatic quarries or whatever it was called. That'd be quite nice. Shit, it's basic terrain. Animal clothing. Come on. Come on. Find me the quarries. Oh, God. Proto-spacer melee. 
Ooh, super sludge for Grigna seems very appropriate. Reroll. Animal warning system? Parrot in a cage. Hello. Parrot that keeps the line of sight. Oh, I have turned off Fog of War since the first attempt because people were saying it was kind of horrible to watch, um, which is understandable. I'd definitely play if it was just me playing by myself because I think it adds a nice level of tension. But I also understand that YouTube compression is um, total, utter dog shit. Give me a... Uh, at least to a Glitter World hospital bed. That might be very relevant. Like I said, I feel like Grigna's going to get absolutely minced by Void. Okay, 78, fine. You can have a break after this one. You've done very well. Go on, get yourself a delicious snacky. Presume we've got any left. Lava terrain. Ooh, that's fun. Grand Penetrating Scanner, of course, actually might be relevant for automatic quarry. So I guess we'll go for that one next. Oh, well, well, hold on, though. If her, if her research speed is this fast, then her scanning speed is going to be equal as fast because it's the same skill, even though her skill level is very low because of all of her bionics. Oh, ooh, what the hell is that thing? Well, that looks fancy. Um... I do like war caskets. One of the big goals was going to be to put myself in a war casket. We have the war caskets can work mod. Whether or not we have to do research for that is irrelevant because we can do it super fast. There is a very powerful war casket somewhere on this whole list. I feel like I've got... Uh, got to reroll. Grigner in a war casket would be a sight. Oh, fine. Fine. You've convinced me. Only because we have the melee animation mod and I think... It may look amazing to see this man go to war. Remember when this was a solo colonist playthrough? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> am I gonna... We, we've got to bear in mind, where the hell am I going to put everything? We've got an empty room up here that I was kind of saving for the ideology because we've got three people now. Um, if we move the nanites over to this corner, I could put the war casket. Oh, let's put the... God damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even think we've got room for all of the bloody machines, let alone everything else. Look, we don't need three super nanite shells. We haven't got that many super nanites. And then we put the war casket foundry directly parallel to this guy. Oh, I suppose so. Oh, shit. Undead from the N4 infective had uh, have arrived nearby. Oh, good. Well, it's not void, uh, but they are horrifying zombie-like creatures. Oh, shit. There's bloody loads of them. Wait, but there were two groups, too. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, Grigna, if you please. We are not going to survive this. What the fuck? Um, why don't we open that door? Why don't we fall back just <laughs> preemptively? <laughs> How long have I got in the pod? One day, seven hours. Oh, this is doomed. Holy shit, look at how many there are. Are they even... Okay, they're not super, super powerful. Where are they going? They're meeting up into an enormous horde. That that makes sense. You know what? That's fair. No, they're trying to smash down the walls. Uh, right. You want to come get destroyed by some of the turrets at least? This is good. Well, hopefully some of them we can bait out. Wow. They are not pissing around. What the hell? Oh, Grigna. Oh, God. They're inside the base instantly. Whoa. I missed that. That was amazing. I'm sorry, Grigna. I was looking somewhere else. Uh, Joris, get down here. Joris, body block the door. Grigna, you're going to have to get back here and body block the door, too. They are all through the base. Oh, my God. How has this happened? We've only just started. Oh. Well, there go two turrets. Hold the door. Hold the line. Get him, Joris. Oh, Grigna, summon your polar bear. Grigna, summon the polar bear. Oh. Grigna's down. Grigna's down. 78 is getting absolutely overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, no. We were not prepared. We are not prepared at all. 78, start running. Let's at least try and get your... Uh, try and get some run and gun going on. Why are you smashing my hairdressing station? That's a bit, a bit rude. Oh, Joris, the brave is holding the line. Get away. They keep grappling up. Move. 78, you are driving me insane. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is going to be very large brain. No. Just keep kiting them, 78. I've turned off auto-cast on a melee ability, so hopefully she'll stop trying to fist fight them and start running and gunning a bit more. Oh, Joris' armor's broken. Oh, he's so brave. Uh, well, Joris fell over then. I've got some bad news. I've got some very bad news. I mean, it's going to take them a while to get through that vault wall, so that's all good if they want to hang out over there. Um, Shut that door behind you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shut the door! <laughs> um, right. Right. Okay. I mean, they're not super powerful. The pro oh my god, they've got healing. Is that facing after a prolonged time away from physical trauma? Oh, well, that's good. That's amazing. Um, what do we do? How do I survive such reckless hate? There are so many of them. Okay, okay hear me out here. Hear me out. 
We could come out to here. <laughs> How does this help us, though? Um, hello? Take him at the hot gates. How good is your melee skill? Not that good. Try and bait them in one at a time. Yes, that'll do. Because if it's one-on-one... -on -one, oh, this is, this is surprisingly large brain for me. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, she can absolutely take him out. I've just got to hope that she can do more damage to them than they can do to her. Ah! Everything's so fast! They move at such high speed. <laughs> it's so hard. Joris the Brave. No, stay down. Stay down, Joris the Brave. Right, how many have we got left to kill? Just like hundreds. Joris, shut the door. Go and shut the door. Be brave, my guy. If you can shut that door, that might at least stop some of them coming around. Because once they break through that, they've got to break through another vault wall. So this is buying us tons of time. How's Grigner doing? He is probably dead. Forget about Void. The poor guy didn't survive the first raid. Go, Joris. Joris, you're so brave. Go there. Turn around. How's 78 doing? Just kill one of them. And this is what we do. We just keep doing this. Pop the door. Get their attention. Come on. Oh, shit. Too slow. Please. Yes! Oh, this is an enormous brain play. So large. Okay, just keep just keep running around the table, though. Just keep, like, running around the table. Not that. No, don't get too... Oh, don't get too overzealous with it. This is so hard to control. Just walk slower. I'm beginning to believe. He's beginning to believe. I'll take my fire cape now. No! <laughs> Close. Close. Almost done it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Go there. Go here. No. They can slightly outrun her. Okay. Okay, go. Nice. No. No. There's just not enough time. Sweep the legs. Finish him off. Grigner is gone. Grigner has gone. Thank you, brave soldier. You've done very average work. You smashed the door. They've smashed the door. They've smashed the door. 78, 78, 78, 78, 78. Okay, there's been a change of plan. I need you to hop through into here, and then I need you to immediately reinstall that wall. Go, go. It work. Yes! <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, no. She got grappled. Well, here we are, then. Fight them at the door. You might just be able to take them out, I suppose. To be fair, 78 is healed up back to 100% because of all of her void implants faster than she's taking damage. We be better her actually fighting them with her fist rather than rather than hitting them with the butt of her gun. She seems to be doing pretty good stuff. How are they doing on the outside walls? We're totally fine. They're not They're not going to get through that. Joris! Joris is doing such good work! Come and help, 78. You two can save this base. Forget about Greg now. Friendship ended. Uh, they seem to have lit the kitchen on fire. Okay, go. Look at them. The dream team. One more, one more. Then we've got to finish them off when they're down. Don't forget. Because they have that... Oh, God, they have that healing implant. What's all this explosion? They've destroyed a geothermal generator. They're destroying the workroom. Oh, I mean, I don't really care if the kitchen's on fire so much. We can deal with that. Joris, get back up. Joris, there's so much left to do. Kill. Okay, okay. Confidence. No, oh, come on. Finish off, finish off, finish off, finish off, finish off. Nice. Kill another. Kill another. Kill them all. Kill them all. Finish off of all long arm. Nice. Okay. Uh, put the fire out fast. We'll have to put the fire out in the workroom too. Go, go, go. Put the fire out. Go, go, go. Nice. What about these sprinklers? What's going on with that? Hey, sprinkles, stupid. I've been totally bamboozled. How do I make them sprinkle? <laughs> I thought they would just detect a fire and then put the fire out. But clearly not. No, 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 no. Fight the fire. Fight the fire. Oh, because it's a workbench that's... Okay. Well, the workbench was too big. We couldn't get to the fire at the back. Okay. How many are left in the base still standing? Two, three. Oh, don't light those on fire. Shit. Oh my god, that one did work. Why did that one work, but the other's not? Oh, well, that's okay. It's not like we lost her. Super important thing, I suppose. Come on, 78. There we go. Finish off, finish off, finish off. Okay. Oh, is the base clear? No, there's one more still in the still in the kitchen. Come on, just sweep the legs. We're done. There's an eclipse. That's not a problem. Okay. Okay, okay. Base secure. Now we've just got to worry about the uh, six plus. We've got to worry about 17 on the outside. How close are they to getting through the wall? Very close. You can repair that faster than they can knock it down though, right? She's going to need a break. She's been fighting nonstop for like two days now. She can repair it, but not, not with this many. What do we think? We go out there and we try and fight them? Try and bait them to come through here? Maybe use this as, a, as kind of a two-chambered area to try and bait them out to? <laughs> okay, 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 that's too many. You've baited too many there. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I would say just keep running. Just keep running and gunning. Do whatever damage you can do. They are closing in on her. They are actually faster than her. Okay, let's try and... Uh, 
I was going to say sweep back around to the base. How many of you baited out, though? That's not all of them. We've taken off a group, and I think she could probably handle this group. You know what? Start fighting. Put your gun away again. I think the fist fighting was working better. Knock him down. Finish him off. Can you do that mid-combat? Cheats. No, it's going to get interrupted. Okay, fair enough. Just fight hard. She's down to 81%. 27. She's going to die. She's going to die. This was too many. She's down to 21%. Oh my god, her mask is broken. No, 78. Her arm is completely broken. Her head has been kicked clean off. I don't really understand that. Her head's been cut off fresh, but she's still alive. She's, she's in fact still fighting. Is that an intentional mechanic? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> no. Very normal. It's very, very normal RimWorld moment. Why is, why is she not dead? What's going on with that? Cut off fresh. Pain extreme consciousness zero percent, but she's still fighting. <laughs> Maybe she'll get better. Maybe she'll actually get better. Oh my god, they're hungry. I never even considered that. She'll be fine. They don't even detect her as a target because she's just like... Is she like infected with something? Is that the problem? You know what? It's part of the story now. I'm incorporating it. The quest to put back 78's head. We're going to have to come up with like a healer mech serum or something, right? Because if we try and tend it through any other way, she might just die. Oh my god. <laughs> he has lost the weakness, Callus. My friend, when you step out of this pod, it's going to be like 28 weeks later. Like, what the hell happened in here? He's going to see Krigna's body? Oh. Oh, this is terrible. How long was I in that pod for? My, my meta take on this is I dare not reload. Because if I reload now, I think 78's head is going to... She's just going to die because she hasn't got a head. And that's generally not very conducive to life. They just got... Oh, Joris! My friend! Have they just gone... Non-hostile? Or some of them have. Some are still attacking the vault walls. I'd rather they didn't smash those because we can't replace those in a hurry. Did you just shoot Joris? Are you a piece of shit? Finish it off, finish it off, finish it off. Go, go, go. Kill, 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 kill. No, kill that one first. Holy shit. Are we actually going to survive this? Ah! Oh, he's going for the food. Oh, I thought I pissed him off with that. Go, 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 go. Finish off. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Finish off that one first. 78, are you okay? She must be having a bit of a bad day. And even these are so tanky. Oh, God, they're angry now. Oh, shit. I'm not sure what the difference is. When they came close enough to... Oh, that was another raid. Acquire a target. Yeah, no, if you keep your distance, they seem... They seem pretty tame. In fact, no. <laughs> <laughs> the infection is in her torso. Well, it's not going to be anywhere else, is it? Joris is dead. That's okay. Joris is immortal, don't forget. He has a part of my power. When I live, Joris lives. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll patch back up in no time. Could have really done with his help here. How many more have we got left to fight? Ten. Ten more. The problem is these ones are still hostile, though, and not dopey. So this is going to be a real interesting time. Let's see if we can just bait out a couple. Ah, okay, okay. The fuck? I'm going to get annihilated, aren't I? Uh, well... Time to do some side casting, I suppose. Death Bolt, that seems pretty good. Collect soul. Oh, I should have been stealing the souls from all these void creatures. Soul pull pulls them towards you. We don't want to do that. Death Ward. Makes immune to most negative heat if soul eruption. Reap, that's the one with the scythe lifelink. And then, of course, we had Hellheim strength, which I'm not sure you can probably use on yourself. But we're going to give it a go. There are too many buttons. I'm already, already realizing the problem with this. Go, 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 go. Ah! I have made a terrible mistake. Do they count as animals? Oh, fuck. I'm just going to get annihilated here. Oh, God, even with the... Okay, try that then, I suppose. Can you even cast it fast enough? I can't even get these side casts off because... They're interrupting the cast. Oh, Lord. Hey, I'm back. Okay, good work. I think they're fighting 78 right now. Fighting what's left of 78. Hold on, hold on. What, what the hell happened there? No! They just ate Joris's. You just you just took his immortality because you've eaten Joris. Oh, you can't. They've just. I think. I think that's the end. He's gone. Look, his immortality is gone. They've they've just eaten the vital part of Joris's immortality. This death bolt is very slow. I think we can get close enough to 78. Just hold them there. Hold the line, 78. Go. Yes. Death bolts. Death bolts. Keep firing them. Okay, this might hurt you, 78. I just need you to stand your ground, really. Nice. Is it good? Oh, it's not harming them at all. 
Oh! Wait, we can do that soul link, though, and link, link some of them together. Like that? Wait, how do I do it? Well, there we go. Nice. Okay, so they're all linked together. Now, when one takes damage, the other will take damage, too. Oh, you can see them all taking damage. It bloody works. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is the soul effect damage over time? Hit by a death bolt. It is. Oh, that was accidentally genius. We hit them all with a debuff, and then I spread it to everybody. I meant, I meant, I, meant, I, I did that intentionally, of course. Naturally, that was my plan all along. <laughs> Finish off that one, because I think that one stole... Which one stole Joris' immortality is probably a better question. We need to make sure we're beheading all of them. This was the smartest idea I've ever had. Unfathomable. Oh, you put him down. Die. Yes. I don't know if they stack. They might not stack, because he's already got the decaying heat. Nice, 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 nice. nice. So they all went down simultaneously. Look at that. Boom. Okay, how are we looking? Are they through the wall yet? They're probably not going to get through the wall with only five of them. We need to open the fight by doing that again. Linking five of them together, and then 78 can just maybe do enough damage to kill them all. Biosculpting. Maybe that can restore 78. I don't know. I don't know if we're coming back from this one. On the plus side, I have fully healed. I'm totally back to normal. Well, that's pretty bloody good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We want to go Soul Link. Shit, I've got to bait them over, though, haven't I? Come on. Come on, that's it. Great work. Turns out a shotgun has pretty good stopping power. Okay, uh, try that one. Man, I really want to see that one, but we haven't got enough time to cast the bloody thing. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to bait out the others. Let's just link these two for now. You can do it multiple times, it said, right? You can, like, there you go. You can stack it up multiple times, and then the damage is shared many times over, as far as I recall. Can you just do that, like, genius? You didn't hit yourself with that, did you? You did, but you're immortal. That's fine. How can you kill that which cannot die? Sorry, I'm a gamer. Let me. Uh, how can you kill that which has no life? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, maybe something like that. Oh, I'm back up. I'm back down. I feel like this may be a result of my own side casting foibles there. Come on! No! Why did you stop being in combat? I know you weren't drafted up. That's because you just stood back up. And my God, man. What a fool you are. Oh, shit. You've downed one. Come on. Infection. Yeah, I'm well aware. I am well aware. Okay. Oh, oh, oh hold on. What if, we, what if we steal a soul? Yes. Your soul is mine. Come on, Shang Tsung. Prove me wrong. Ooh. Oh, delicious soul. I'm not sure what that does for me. Successfully extracted a soul from the evolved rumbler. Soul collected one soul. Oh my god. And they give psychic sensitivity per soul. That's amazing. Hold on, but that didn't kill it though, because I still had to finish it off. If you knock somebody down by stealing their soul, does it not kill them outright? Well, that could be useful. We could do something with that, I'm sure. Is this all... Yeah, 78's getting an enormous amount of affections. Yeah, there's no, no real surprise. Oh my god, they've broken my robes. My poor sweet Psy robes. They're all really hammering on those walls, aren't they? Exchange soul for Psy focus. Oh. That's bloody cool. That is a cool mechanic. I'm a fan of that one. Okay. Oh, you're in a lot of trouble now. Okay, ready? 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 Careful. Careful. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward. Careful. Link. 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 Could have linked myself. Like I said before, I, I presume you could link yourself. Nice. We've done it. Very good. And then hit him with the old death bolt. No, no, no. Hit him with the old death bolt. Boom. We've got them both. Oh, I killed them all before that, though. Why are you running? Get back here. I'm in charge now. Oh, 78. I'm so sorry. Die. This is the final one. Boil and die. Your soul is mine. Eat that soul right now. Mmm. Oh, failed. So does that mean we didn't actually get the soul? Soul collection, one soul. I'm not sure if that's worth then. Never mind. Um, what, what happens if we try and take your soul out? Missing soul. Consciousness max 1%. Oh, we could do something with that for sure. Maybe there's a way to get void prisoners. Because again, I don't think harvesting their organs post-mortem will work. Because when they die, they'll just be hit by... I presume, a death acidifier. I'm missing limbs. I'm missing my clothes. 78 is wandering around literally like a headless chicken. But I think it's time. Let's get this reactor online. I think we survived it. Look at the blood. Look at the blood. And somehow we've survived this. Uh, I'm going to say you rest until healed. I'll see you in about... 20 years. Get the generators back online so at least we can keep the power grid active for a little while. I'm not sure what I do about 78 because I think if she dies, she won't resurrect because she's missing her head. I think we've got to find a way to regrow her head without simply killing her and trying to use her immortal powers to regrow it all. We're going to have to invent healer mech serums. How quickly it went back to a solo colonist playthrough, huh? Universal balance. Ah. Just another one of those days here in the vault. <laughs> now wasn't even void. Oh, shit. We're doomed. We're actually dead, aren't we? I'm having a grig in his body. I was going to bury that. 
Well, what happened to Grigna's body? It just, it just disintegrated. Blood of Grigna and of old Rumbler, Joris the Brave and Samuel. Wow. He is just actually straight up gone. You didn't butcher it, did you? No, human-like corpse are disabled. Where did Grigna's body go? Thriving in chaos very much does sum this up, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just to stop for a touch of billiards. She is not dying no matter what. Look, torso, infection, extreme, 100%. But it's not killing her. She's just, she's just like invincible. Holy shit, but she's lost all of her void implants. She's got whatever was left in her torso and then a stomach, a liver, but a void heart, kidneys, legs, arms, everything's gone. Everything that made 78 amazing is just completely disappeared. This is the game's way of saying tutorial over. You've had your fun. I hope the research was worth it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how to recover from this at all. Uh, let's move the crypto casket over. 78 is healing, but she is in like non-stop constant agony. But, I mean, that's her problem really, isn't it? Let's throw down a bio sculptor. Did we get the regeneration cycle though? Otherwise this is all bloody pointless, isn't it? Power grid's fluctuating like crazy too. Why, why have we now not got any power? Did they cut the power cables between the outside ones? Uh, well, that didn't link up to anything anyway, so that's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, look here. Oh, and a psychic suit. Thank you. A kind gift. Come on. What have we got here? Bionic version cycle, pleasure cycle. Okay, that's all good. Bioregeneration cycle, I think, is what we're after. We need two gods of medicine, which we do have. Wait, do we? Hold on. Seven. We've got seven. We're fine. Um, Carry you to... Can you walk? You can walk. Uh, Get in the... Nutrition not loaded. Okay, hold on. They're telling me there's a chance. Okay, get in the pod. Medic cycle, bio regen cycle, age reversal, pleasure, aging, beauty, immunity, tough, or voice. We've got to go bio regen. Everything will be healed. <laughs> oh my god. But I don't think her head will regrow. So we're just gonna we're just gonna give it a go, I think. Peace loving frog travelers. I missed them. Oh, I'm so sorry. They could have had some really good stuff. We're getting there. Balance, balance will be restored very soon. Unless another one of those raids turns up. At which point we're horribly dead. Just dead forever. We should build some combat mechanoids. Well, you see, it can't be a solo colonist playthrough forever, can it? We've got ourselves one. Agrahand. Doing. That's not where the that's not where the hydroponics are. Oh, it's got nothing to do. Well, you know what we can do? I can take me at least off of harvesting and growing now. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. I mean, that's not really a big deal, right? I mean, if the void raids are only going to turn up as normal raids would. I don't think the amount of bases has any impact on that. But that is another base of the Galactic Black Market gone. Wow. Impact mining curiosity is deteriorated away in storage. Oh, shit. Well, the Psy Extreme one, uh, I can't inject that anyway. Apparently, it contains a gene I already have. So I presume it must conflict with LTEC synchronization. Because architecture tumor wouldn't really make sense. A clean sweeper, thank God. And a constructor as well. Boom. Look at that. And I was hoping the Constructor would just go along and repair all those Vault Wars that had taken a massive beating. Granted, it'll probably take them forever, but it's something. 78 completed the healing cycle. Wow, that was quick. Um, Doesn't seem to have worked, though, does it? I think it actually may have crashed the game. Are we good? 78? Oh, you're still in there. Sorry, yes, you're still in there. Let me just, um, can we, can you, can we get you out? She's, she's stuck in the... Wait, where is she? <laughs> where, where is she? I think everything's horribly broken. Oh, there we go. 78, how are you? Malnutrition. Life-threatening malnutrition. Yeah, okay. I feel like I'm going to have to start work on bionics or... Healer mech serums? Head replacement technology? Well, that's good. At least you're not naked. <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? Oh. You can't eat, though, because you haven't got a head. Oh, nor a mouth, or an esophagus, or a stomach, or anything, really. Anything that you really need to eat food with. Or just a life of pure torment every day. Wandering around a torso with feeling, but no idea what the hell's going on. Oh. You know the rules. Then so do I. What starts in the pod has to end in the pod. Remove weakness. 76% chance of failure. Ugh. But if this works, it removes that... Minus 200% aiming time or plus 200% aiming time. And I would become a stone cold killer. I would become an unstoppable beast and I just need a better gun. I mean, to be fair, I could take 78's Void Tech gun given that she hasn't got any arms. I have to do it. I, I know this is going to backfire, but I have to do it. We have to try. We just need something. Without it, how am I going to fight off anything? We're, we're basically dead if I don't do this, so I might as well take the gamble. 
do it. And I said it yesterday, but it holds true today. What starts at the pod ends in the pod. It's a nice bookend, isn't it? I quite like it. Thank you for joining me on what was uh, a ridiculous adventure. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to edit that into something watch watchable. It was mostly just me screeching as zombies chased me around. Well, I'll figure something out, I'm sure. Wow, that really was a, a wake-up call to prove how very much unprepared for Void we are, given that we can't even take on the, re the other side effect, the result of Void's experiments. How the hell are we going to take on Void proper? Thank you to Shork Comrade, Hoaxor, Roan, Sakari, Galaxy Wolf, Voyager 04, Fisher, Patrick Paulia, David Gertman, Boop, Comrade Sandy Candy, The Butterist Boy, Vazility, Ethan Parks, Vexen, Basic Dev, Heathen, Zona Schimmel, Christian, Clark, Nexus, Bobka, Hodzu Wudzu, and I secretly engineer all the Ice Wolf deaths. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for supporting the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for making this all exist. Because this month it certainly would not have. This may have been the final month otherwise. Thank you, of course, in addition to you at home for watching. But also to Fatigable, Janosch, Railingar, Fex, Dexter, a good chunk of Balsa, Mauen Kadalbe, Random Man 9989, Tim Hill, Max Soplo, and Robotamus. See you all tomorrow.